Okay, is it running? Okay, uh, unwinding is a problem for people who are wound up. Uh, see, there are a lot of people who believe that there's something called a work-life uh, balance, no? and I think that's for people who generally are employed in jobs that they don't like, and I don't think I need a work-life uh, balance because um, my work and it is my life. And I'm Christopher Charles Benninger. I'm an architect and I'm also an urban planner. I'm in candid conversation with India Art and Design.com. I'm a late riser, late sleeper. Mm. I get up very late. I get up at 10.30 sometimes, 11. Well, there's this very uh, congested drive to the office every day where I have to walk 34 or 40 feet across a courtyard uh, to get to the office. When I come home, I rest maybe for 30 minutes. Maybe I read, then I go swimming for an hour. I swim every day in my lap pool. Uh, and then uh, I write. I usually I have some writing project I'm working on. So I read a lot of books because I write the forwards to a lot of books also. I mean, I would say my second life is as a writer. Now, when I was about, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, I received a book as a gift. It was called The Natural House by Frank Lloyd Wright. And it wasn't the pictures in that book, but it was the philosophy in that book, which I think affected me and uh, turned me to become an architect. In fact, I had never read a book cover to cover by then. I was a very naughty and bad student. Uh, and I lived in a very idealistic city called Gainesville, Florida. But, uh, well, one of the naughty things I used to do, I used to break school and go over to something called the Student Center, uh, where they showed art films. They were very negative films about the realities of life. So I think that also gave me a tremendous viewpoint. I have all kinds of friends. I have friends, of course, architects make up a very large percentage of my friendships. But I also have friends who are writers, painters, and I have friends who um, are into business and things like that. Well, I spend a lot of time with Ram Prasad. I often like to wear um, pajamas and jabba. I think it's more comfortable. Uh, Ram Prasad tells me, don't do that. Uh, you look like a hippie or a tourist. So uh, uh, I have a lot of criticisms of fashion, actually. Mm -hmm. And I am interested in it, uh, but uh, I don't think I personally try to dress in a fashionable way. Uh, I, I, go, I open my drawer from where my shirts are and I take the one on the top. But uh, generally I like shirts with two pockets because I can keep a lot of pins and things there. I like classical Indian music, um, uh, but I like all kinds of music. No, I, I love Indian food actually. Uh, and I'm drifting more towards vegetarian food. My son makes me laugh because he tells uh, fantastic stories about the impossible and ridiculous. I think uh, if I want to laugh, I call my son over for a drink. All teachings has influenced me. So I think all religions have something to offer, all spiritual paths have something to offer. So if you're smart, you'll pick up like in a buffet uh, and, and take and eat what you like. See, even this building, it's actually very much like a wada, a Maharashtrian wada. But the plan of this house is actually every house in New England, a uh, gentleman's house would be the same plan as this. So it's actually got two cultures overlaid within each other. Ah, I think the secret of my success is not wanting to be successful. I think I enjoy my work and um, I take each new project as a puzzle, a conundrum. And I want to solve that puzzle uh, in light of itself. I don't think about my previous work or my friend's work or famous other architects work. I think I always look at each problem as a unique problem. And I just want to solve the problem. If there's a philosophy I abide by, it would be truth. Our university, Harvard University, just has one word, veritas. And they say if you can learn to, that one thing, to be a true person and to, to follow truth, then you, you, you became a graduate.